So welcome back to the previous video we talked about an array and we talked about the for each loop in an array. Okay, in this video we we'll talk about functions. We'll talk about functions, then in the next video I will take you through some projects I did, some programs I wrote. So at first I have to add what I need, the module, and uh, this module is functions, I call this function prax, function prax, so I'll save this, then remember I have to start with my sub main, sub main, okay, this is it, now I want to write a function and uh, for me to write a function I have to write it outside the so I have started with the function keyword and uh, after that I'll include the name I'll call the name as I'll write the functions here I'll call this as square it squares and I give it a parameter and the parameter I'm giving it is by volume value whatever thing you give it number whatever number you give it can be n as what integer it takes integer then what it returns as what let me say double that is for the function then what would I include is uh, when you give it let me say I'm saying uh, as uh, as double as as double answer equals to n times n. So it has to return something. Return answer. To some answer. So when this is done, I say uh, console dot writes enter a number to square. So I'll take what I can say. Uh, inputs. So you know it must start with the input as integer. Integer equals to console dot log. So now console dot log console dot read and uh, read please also the log is used in javascript so what would i do i'll have to say console dot write console dot write the square is simple which is this Which is what? Which is that square name of the function inputs. So when I change this, when I change this, okay, so I'll do the run five, F5. So this will be functions. I get F five point one. So there are some errors in this place. So let's debug it. Let's see what are the errors. Is it expected this? Okay. So it actually did not close that. It just the error. So 
we've corrected that error so let's see so enter a number to square enter five okay i missed something this closing key which is console so out must be inside my sub which is console dot read is console dot read read key I'll start this I love any number I enter it squares the number enter five squares it to 25 now this is using that function square what about if I want to modernize the number that is should find the power of any number given the power of any number given so I can write another function which I just call fun function I call it power power we take two elements two parameters by value which is the number as integer and to also take by value the degree as integer Okay, so what next do I have to do? That's uh, so okay. Then mm -hmm. what else can I do? I'll say answer ANS. A N S equals to the power equals to uh, number times times. So I have this way. Okay. So by degree. So let's see. Return answer. Now it doesn't take this star star. It doesn't take that star star. So what can we do that to solve this issue? If we just do this star, which is just take it and um, multiply it. But if we want it to multiply itself. So I think I make use of the mathematics function here, which is power, which is sorry, maths dot power, which is this number, comma, comma, degree. So when I enter, I come to this place to take the function, I say, Enter a enter any number to square good then enter also that's right okay. 
What's the green? So you see needs of angst what's the degree is. So we we'll have to declare a variable to get the degree. So the G I can do this just plus two integer as integer. to console not treat so we read line okay so to be this comma cost comma Let's run this with our arrows, red arrows. Sorry, not square, but power. You see this? So we add a number to square. I'll say two uh, or degree as a three, so this should give me eight. The square is eight, so you see this is working perfectly fine. And I've just shown you how you can use a function in Q in VB.net in the console application area. The next video, I will walk you through some projects. Um, that would be uh, for now. That would be the climax video for the now. Then when I'll bring some other videos on reading files and doing other things in console application. Thank you. The default each loop, in, which is used for arrays and for collections. So the first thing I have to add an item to this and I'll call it for for each loop I'll call it array for each loop array okay so what I simply have to do here is sub main good so I'll create an array I want to use a for loop to create an array. So I'll make a simple for sorry, let me do this thing. Uh, let me just score. You take the score score of five students, five students as integer. So for i equals to zero to four console but right enter score. score so I'll have I'll, let me make another thing I make this a score I have what score because you console the treat mm. so this restore the scores inside, which is not just scores, but scores of I scores of I. 
So now I want to print it out. Sorry, it's a rotation. I want to print this out. I want to print this out. So to print this out, I'll just okay. Let me just do something. Yes, a console dot write score. I run this. I change the property first. I just say tutorial. Change the property to this, and I run it. You see, the enter score. First, I enter ten. Enter score. So I enter twenty one. This, 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 this. To give me an error because I'm not specifying which, uh, which, uh, well, how would I call it? I'm not specifying which value that is used index to print in that score. So to do that, I can say for each, see this, for each, for each, for each word element as double type in collection for each score or let me say for each uh, i for each i as integer in in what is score mm. the score then what you have to you console So those rights I so when I do this when I do this the console dot right so console dot read the read key to run it and you see that you print our two scores what I twelve this 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 the it printed them out for me so this is using for each loop I use the for loop to store the values in the array and also I use for each loop to print out those values to print out those values in the array I can use the for loop and use any other loop to print out the values in the array so it's more easier to use a for each loop whenever you want to print the values in an array or in a collection now you see this I tell you in modern programming languages when you have a, a an array declared with the size of five, for instance, it only takes from zero to four. Okay? But in VB, if it wants array of five, you declare the size to be four because the zero index is also a size. I just hope you understood this brief tutorial thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and have a nice time